Hi there, take a look at this horror blog. This is a horror blog for April 2015, delivered to the UK. It took about a week to get to me from the dispatch from Canada, which is pretty good. I don't think any of the other boxes, other than the nerd block family, can live up to that. So all I've done is just scored the tape so it's ready to open. I've not looked inside yet. Uh, there's a little touch I really like in these boxes. Do you notice the great design on the tape here really matching the rest of the box I think that's one of these that they do really well the interesting thing about this box is I wasn't thinking of getting another horror block because I'm not the biggest horror fan but it was until I saw the lineup I know there's a Ghostbusters exclusive in here and I really like the version in nerd block I think I saw that there was also a Bates Motel item as well which again is one of those programs I've really grown to love uh, a great thriller with lots of twists and of course a bit of horror as well so should we take a look inside let's uh, unseal this ripping sound don't open dead inside i'll brave it so here we go and let's see what have we got and let's go straight to the ghostbusters and well, it's certainly a very nice item. Now the immediate question to me, I'll just take the bit of packaging off, is what exactly is different between this uh, vinyl figure and the one that was inside Nerdblock? I'm sure that was Ecto 1, 4.5 inches as well. Looks very similar from the outside. It's a uh, really nice item, Nerdblock exclusive. I'm not sure quite what the difference is. Does that mean I've just Got the same item twice in two different blocks, uh, which seems a little bit unlikely. I have to follow that one up and see what the other unboxing videos and reviews have said. Remember, you can check out the full review for this, which will be up on geeksubscriptionbox.com. But there's the Ecto-1. Um, certainly a very nice item. I understand I was hoping for a Slimer, but there you go. Let's put Ecto-1 to one side. And, uh, oh, killer shots. Dead good shot glasses well this is exciting here um, made in the uk it's interesting same company has supplied quite a few items here two deadly shot glasses well you never have too many shot glasses unless you break them all so the modern etiquette guide for the man about town these look quite nice let's see how easy they are to get in let's see danger boxes within boxes all within a video and just about getting these these will certainly be years let's take a look here we have, okay, quite a nice, fun horror item. And I haven't had a shot glass before in one of these boxes, so they'll definitely come in handy. So, certainly have a look at those. Killer shots. And I can immediately see a t-shirt, which is probably no surprise, because we knew we'd get a, a t-shirt in all of these boxes. And, uh, there you go. Four new skirts, 24 hours at Shirt Punch. There's a horror block. Uh, a shirt to make your skin crawl. And uh, I, I presume it's I Love Evil. I presume the skull is a heart there. Yeah, it's quite a, quite a good item. I like that shirt as far as I go. Something little in here slipped inside. Overlook Hotel. I, I think it was an Overlook Hotel item. Was it a shirt in one of the other boxes as well, some coasters here. They don't look the best made coasters, just bits of thin cardboard, but I'm sure they'll be used probably fairly disposable ones, those ones, from there. Uh, here we have another sealed item, which I am pretty unprepared to take apart, because I've not left my knife anywhere handy, so give us any clues what it is. Box certificate, single wall, doesn't tell us very much. I'm going to guess this is the Bates Motel item. Well, what I will do for that one is I'll look inside the information card rather than try and open it. I'll be better prepared for another time. We've got the Room Orc. I enjoyed that magazine. You get this magazine every month. I enjoyed the one last month. It didn't make me go out and buy any horror DVDs, but it's good enough to read. I remember this is a... Uh, 9.95 US dollars value. Magazines are expensive, just no surprise. Got some information on Hannibal, uh, Pinhead, yeah, it's there. Various other things. VHS video cover art didn't make me go and buy any 
whether these are the HS videos either. Interesting looking magazine there. Uh, they've probably got a big advert for Horror Block inside to encourage you to buy it. Oh, not this month, but they had one last month. So, there you go. Perhaps one if you go inside a bit further. And, ah, so this is a giveaway about what's in the, the box. It's a Bates Motel mug. Which looks very nice. I'll certainly get that one open shortly. We can have a look at the photo there. Bates Motel mug, and you can see the... Um, I think it's bloody disgusting. As it says on there, probably not something that... A very British term, really, when you think of that. Oh, got the Evil Dead t-shirt. Oh, okay, I, that is from that is Evil Dead. Right, didn't immediately ring a bell. Got the, the coasters. Got the shot glasses. Got the magazine. Um, and then the exclusive... Ghost Butter Sector 1 vinyl. Now... Possibly that one is very slightly different to the other one, I'm not sure immediately, but to me they did look pretty similar, but I'm sure we can track that one down in time for the review, and then the question, what do you think of this horror block we're dying to know? Well, I suspect I probably won't be going ahead and purchasing this again next month, but who knows, I quite like the grab block I got, so these can be interesting on occasion, so we'll just put everything out so you can see what's inside. And have a look, including the uh, the Ghostbusters car. Ghostbusters probably is horror nowadays. The shot glasses, Overlook Hotel, and take a look at all the goodies inside Horror Block for April 2015. I think there's certainly value there, even with the possible duplication. There's enough stuff there that I'll use and enjoy. Add another mug to the collection. So thanks for joining me and taking a look inside Horror Block April 2015. Let me know what you think in the comments on YouTube and on geeksubscriptionbox.com and I'll join you again soon for another unboxing video.